friendship is everything friendship is more than talent friendship is more than the government it's almost equal to family don vito corleone ladies and gentlemen boys and girls ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the godfather the godfather by 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 mario puzo yeah this is the book <laughs> Um, when it comes to mainstream fiction or maybe different kinds of fic fictions all put together, this is one of the best, isn't it? Best of the best, isn't it? Especially for those who are hardcore, arduous, ardent readers, book readers, book worms, what do we call it? I, I'm sure most of us know, you know, it was way back released, I mean published <laughs> in 1969 after a couple of years, I think 1972. You know, the movie The Godfather was uh, released and um, the, the movie Godfather actually inspired even when it comes to Hindi cinema yeah uh, so many movies I, I remember Feroz Khan making Dharmatma then uh, Kamal Hassan's I think uh, Viru Naikan yeah and then again uh, Feroz Khan making uh, Dayawan and then uh, the Sarkar yeah if you ask me straight from the heart I would say being 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 a voracious reader or maybe a movie movie buff, which one I would like to go for? I would say it's very difficult, because in all those you know, trilogy of Godfather and this this book. So um, okay, uh, I'll go with movie. <laughs> Definitely, you know, the book is really phenomenal. And the kind of vocabulary and the imaginations and the, and you know the entire sequence it goes about is really mind boggling. Definitely, you being a reader, I think you, more, most of us, I think more, most of the people that say, you know, book is really classic and good, uh, far better than when it comes to the movie. And there are many, many things which are not there in the movie when it comes to character. And maybe later on in the movie, you know, there are certain scenes which, which are added. One of the most terrifying and terrific scenes from Godfather, if you remember, Johnny Fontaine, godson of uh, Don Vito Corleone. Uh, when he was refused by Hollywood producer in the movie uh, Mark Walsh and then how you know he was uh, he, and how uh, you remember that and how uh, the head of horse was put at his bed and when he when he wakes up I think everyone knows about that and you know, he, he was made an offer which he could not refuse right very very very, very interesting well uh, first of all uh, Don Vito uh, Corleone played by Marlon Brando, Marlon Brando, oh my goodness, so cool, calm, composed, oh, he hardly used to move and the, when, when he used to get up, his body language used to, why, why? it's called The Godfather, when Don Vito Corleone, he played um, a role, a perfect role of being father, uh, being a gentleman, being a great friend, a great friend, which, and, a, and, a man of, and a man of words, people could trust him. If he, gives, if he gives his words, means he will live up to his words. Well, uh, if you ask me, as you know that I don't get into the book, you know, but definitely I'll pick up on one of the scenes from the book. And uh, one of my very favorite uh, uh, scenes, if you all remember, that Michael Corleone, Michael Corleone, the, the, the youngest son who, who uh, served uh, in the army over there during World War II. And, uh, war, and uh, he used to be a little aloof from the family business. The mafia and uh, but you know the situations happen like that that he, that he had to come back to his family and then he, as, as we know that you know how you turn the table then how he chapter 10 is all about that if you remember the scene that his father was hospitalized because he was gunned down and then he got a very nasty nasty blow i mean you know a punch by the captain the police guy and he he he, he, he you know he breaks his and he breaks his jaw and, uh, but he also is a kind of you know very cool, calm, composed chap, like his father, like his father. And uh, I would like to read out something from here. Michael had trouble talking. His jaws wouldn't come together, but he managed to mumble. I slipped, he said. I slipped and fail. I slipped and fail. He saw the captain give him a triumphant glance. Uh, he, he he saw the captain give him a triumphant glance, and uh, he tried to answer that glance with a smile. <laughs> he bought the favorite scene in mirror. <laughs> Deep down, you know, I think Michael knew that it's very easy for him that one fine day he can kill this captain anytime as his wish. <laughs> uh, at all costs, he wanted to hide the delicious icy chilliness that controlled his brain, the surge of wintry 
cold hatred that pervaded his body. More about Michael, I mean uh, Al Pacino. Uh, even uh, while making this movie, you know, um, the director, the director, you know, mentions somewhere in the interview that Francis, uh, Francis Ford Coppola, that the Paramount, uh, Paramount movie, uh, the Paramount movies was was uh, not in favor of casting uh, Al Pacino because Al Pacino, as you know, uh, is a very short height person, and you can see in the movie also that his his girlfriend is taller than than him, the, um, which which actually inspired me also. I also, you know, have this kind of, you know, a kind of a wish you can say that, you know, Kash, maybe you have a girlfriend who is Muslim and you And God has blessed me with, with a girlfriend who was uh, so beautiful, so caring and uh, she was taller to me and uh, we were very good friends, at least for a decade. The, the Godfather, in fact, uh, brought a couple of Oscars, no wonder, Marlene Brando got uh, the best actor, Oscar. I think the movie also got best picture and maybe I think screenplay. Those who are voracious readers, especially when it comes to fiction, you can you can you know pick up this book if you have not gone through this book and you will really love. You'll be you'll be really delighted to go through each and every paragraph. It's really amazing piece of work. In fact, in fact, you know the masterpiece. When something more. Those who have not seen Godfather's the trilogy, the sequel, the movie, and the book, you know, it talks about one of the families, one of the mafia families from uh, Italy. Uh, Sicily, uh, who, who uh, migrate to uh, New York, and the, even the, even the name uh, Corleone is is a name of a town in Sicily, in Sicily, Corleone, and uh, uh, the, the book is about the mafia, the underworld. You know, it talks about nothing personal but the business. You know, uh, I would say just take it, just take it um, in a very positive stride that uh, when it comes to the the, the, the great work of writing and the movie uh, in fact when this first movie was made you know they made the second movie the sequel to it because this movie somehow was glorifying the violence the mafia then they felt oh my god what's what's happening so uh, in a, uh, so as moral responsibility responsibility to responsibility towards society uh, they tried to make it very clear not to glorify the violence not to glorify the mafia yeah, but just just an art, just an art, this 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 story, just the work of fiction. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.